Now, I bought this Harbor Freight uh, to do what I'm doing. I, I, I've pulled up uh, probably about close to two dozen stumps. And, uh, and that's what I bought this for. I was born uh, a friend of mine's. He's got a Kubota LA uh, L2501 with a little backhoe attachment on it and a loader. And that comes, that comes in handy for when I need to move dirt and fill these hoes back up. I'll probably borrow it again. Uh, but this little backhoe does a great job digging these stumps up. You just got to be patient with it. Uh, and, and quite frankly, I can get this little portable backhoe in places where I could not get that tractor. The tractor, during the winter, uh, sometimes this, the groundwater comes up and this uh, ground is moist uh, and, that, and getting muddy, and that tractor just couldn't come back here. But this thing here, I can get it in between the trees. I can get it in any position I want. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually a great little machine. You just gotta be patient. Sometimes I'll cut the tree down and then just let the let the um, the stump stay in the ground for two or three months. You know, give some of the roots a chance to die off. That makes it easier for the backhoe to you know snap the roots and uh, uh, and pull it and pull it out. And but you know, I dig around it. So, you know, about five feet deep all the way around, and then I'll get in there with a shovel and pickaxe and what pickaxe or whatever, and you know, try and get as much dirt off that. Uh, out of them roots as possible to lighten it up. With that winch, it pulls it right out. And I use the backhoe. And I have the uh, wireless remote with that, so I can actually be on the backhoe working it, helping to, uh, you know, pull the stump and operate the winch at the same time. It's it's, it's actually a very good system. Uh, you just got to be patient. It's going to be slow work, but it'll do it.